Hi, Rob Hobbs and I here today have a chat about mood and food. Yeah. So we have a lot of people writing to us on the website with perimenopausal problems, menopausal problems, how they're suddenly really grumpy. Thankfully my husband's not here to confirm this, but really grumpy. They feel very unsettled, their, their mood isn't even. How does food affect the mood? Uh, food is really closely connected to, to mood. Um, at a very basic level, we all know that if you don't eat regularly, we can get hungry. I think the phrase is hangry at the moment. Hungry, hangry, and hungry, I know I get hangry. Okay, yeah, I think I can probably identify with that. Definitely. So I think the first thing you need to do is yeah, eat regularly and try and go for foods that have um, a high fibre protein content. So you kind of feel full, you're not, your blood sugar is so not is this drop. So you're feeling fuller for longer. So, for longer. so you're actually digesting the food slowly, yeah. you're able to take in the nutrients and this is actually helping to balance the mood, is that right? Yeah, balancing blood sugar really. So if you imagine you skip breakfast. Um, and it gets to 11 o'clock and the only thing you've got to hand is something very sweet. If you eat that, it's going to send your blood sugar flying up, give you a little bit of satisfaction, then it's just going to slump and you're going to feel you're really moody, you. really irritable. But, you know, there's other things we can do um, with food to improve our mood. There's certain nutrients that are connected to, to mood to do with okay. food. So B vitamins. Yeah. Um, B vitamins are involved in converting food into energy. So if you're not getting enough B vitamins in your diet, you might experience some sort of um, low energy, which can affect your mood. Um, okay. oh, we were talking about magnesium earlier. Yeah. So magnesium as well is quite closely uh, linked to mood. Uh, we know that magnesium has a very relaxing effect. And low levels of magnesium can actually make you quite anxious. It can lead to anxiety. So keep them a good... So now we're talking of anxiety, anxiety and depression. Yeah. Can food have an effect on, on how you feel? Whether you feel kind of upbeat and happy or whether I think you so. feel lower? If you are if you have depression, then obviously you need to speak to your doctor because no food in the world is gonna suddenly no. make you feel no. it's gonna cure you. But not even I, chocolate. Not even chocolate. But I think that those conditions can cause you to not eat or eat the wrong kind of foods, which can put you in the wrong kind yeah. of mood. We know that things like omega-3 can help with symptoms of depression in people with depression. So, um, you know, people with depression might want to consider an omega-3 supplement. Again, I would speak to your doctor mm -hmm. before you go ahead and do anything like that, especially if they've diagnosed you with, with depression. Okay, yeah. good. So, what are we going to cook today? Today? So I thought what we do, thinking about all those nutrients that I mentioned, so we had our B vitamins, we had, um, we had a bit of protein, we had magnesium, I thought we would combine them all into a stir fry. Oh, how nice. Really quick, it takes so quick five minutes yeah. to cook, really quick and easy. So we've got some quinoa, and um, I'm just going to chuck that into my stir fry afterwards. Okay. I'm not a big fan of serving your carbohydrates on the side with a curry or a stir fry, I can't like just chuck a handful in. So with quinoa, you've got carbohydrate and protein. We've got right? carbohydrate, yeah. we've got the proteins, we've got all of the amino acids in here, which is great. So if you're vegetarian, this is brilliant. Um, and then we've got some tofu. So I'm going to cook with um, tofu today, and that's a good source of magnesium. Um, nuts and seeds, brilliant source of magnesium here. Um, and some B vitamins. And actually the quinoa is a good source of B vitamins as well. And then we're just cooking with greens, and I don't need to tell you that. I, 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 mean, yeah. I, I just easily live on green vegetables. I know, I've seen your and fridge. Chocolate. <laughs> you see my fridge. My son complains about the pillows of kale that fall out of the fridge every yeah. time he opens it. Yes, yeah, so we're just going to use edamame beans. Um, again, you know, magnesium. Are these, are these frozen? They're frozen. So these are really easy to pick up in the supermarket yep. and great to, to throw into a stir fry. Yeah, and if you can't find edamame, they're just soybeans. So okay. um, even some of the frozen food brands make do soybeans. So just look for soybeans yeah. in the okay. freezer. Because I think it's something that people don't know that you can get that easily. Yeah, you can get them quite easily in most supermarkets and they make a really great snack. So yeah. these are good to And you can blend them, can't you? Make a good yeah. dip. I've them. made dips with them. Um, you can mix some coriander and lime uh, and avocado actually to make a nice dip. Fantastic. Yeah. Okay, well, I'm going to let you carry on and cook this. Yeah. 
And I know it's going to be quick. It's going to be so super quick. stay with us. I'm going to keep out the way. We could be a bit of a messy cook, you know, throwing all of that. Yeah, so okay. over to you, Rob. Brilliant. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is um, I'm actually going to heat some uh, coconut oil in the, in the pan, in the wok. I'm just going to add a couple of teaspoons. I like using coconut oil because it gets to a really high temperature. Um, and it's also got a really nice flavour when you're cooking stir fries. So we'll just let that melt. Um, what I did beforehand was I just toasted in the wok, a dry wok, our nuts and seeds, because they actually taste much nicer when they've had a bit of a, when they've got that nice toasty flavour to them. Okay, so just let this heat up. Um, once that coconut oil is melted, I'm going to add in our ginger, our garlic, and our chilli. And we're just going to cook that for about a minute and that'll flavour the, um, the coconut oil as we go. Taking a little longer to heat up than I thought. Okay, so we'll add that into our, into our wok. Cool. Right, so while that's cooking away, we probably want to cook this for um, for about a minute or so. Let's move on to a whole bunch of it. Should we start this again this little bit? No. We're just having a little, little technical meltdown here. With we are having a little technical meltdown with my... Uh, my Pan situation. This is, this is my untrustworthy <laughs> help, isn't it? Yeah, it's all going so well. Okay, so, right, we'll just cook our garlic and chilli. That's getting nice and hot now. You probably want to do that for about a minute or two, so it gets all the flavours start to combine. And then what we're going to add afterwards uh, is we're going to add in our tofu. And tofu doesn't really take a lot of cooking time, and I've actually chosen a smoked tofu that I've already bought. You could use a normal tofu if you want, you could cook it in the pan beforehand, but I just think for convenience we're going to use this, um, this nice smoky tofu. So, Rob, is that easily available? Yeah, it's really easily available. Um, if you can't find a health shop to find this specific type of tofu, then you could go to your supermarket and look for a brand like Cauldron, and they do um, their own version of a, of a marinated tofu. Okay, um, what exactly is tofu? Tofu is, um, it's a soy, it's from the soy farm. So when we're looking at soybeans, yep. it's just um, where they've been sort of fermented down and made into a, into a paste. Okay. And that's what soy is. Okay. Yep. Okay, so we'll give this a couple of minutes. Um, but what I'm going to use to flavour the stir fry is I'm actually going to use some soy, but the only thing I would say about using soy with these smoked tofus is taste your stir fry first because they're smoked and they've got soy on them already, so they're quite a lot of flavour. What you don't want is a really salty, horrible stir fry. Okay. So, next in the pan, I'm going to add a little bit of kale. Um, I'm going to add in some of our broccoli, and I'm using purple sprouts in broccoli because it's in season, mm -hmm. and a little bit of regular broccoli. So we'll give it a bit of some nice colours, some different flavours. Okay, and I'm also going to add in some edamame. Cool. Right, so we're just going to get that, stir that around for a few minutes. I'm trying to chuck everything out of the pan. Told you. See, I see it. I'm just everywhere. We need like a really big wok while I'm cooking. <laughs> right. Okay, and what I like to do as it's kind of cooking through is just add a little bit of liquid so that it really steams the thing, um, steams the veggies cooked. So I'm going to take half a lime juice, half a lime, squeeze the juice in. And I'm also just going to add a tiny little bit of water. Just to get that in here off. Okay. 
reason this isn't smelling is because it's I know it's not so <laughs> Right. So I'm going to take that off the heat. And I'm going to just put this down. Just in the bottom, there should be a. Is there a trivet there? Yeah, I tell you what, we'll keep it on the top. Okay, so into that, I'm just going to add a little bit of quinoa. Okay. I'm not going to add too much. You're better than me, I just throw it all in. Yeah. <laughs> Just big mouthfuls of quinoa. Yeah, yeah. Mouthfuls of everything. Um, and then going to chuck in our spring onions. And I'm going to add in our nuts and seeds. I've taken it off the heat, but the pan's still going to be really warm, so it's going to be fine. One of those. So just get a little stir. Okay, I'm going to bring this up. And then into this then, we can just add a little soy. I'm going to add this afterwards because I want to have a little taste of it with the thing, but with the, with the tofu. But essentially what we've got is our spring greens. Come back out. Can we yep. just tip that up? So yeah, of course. Cool. Yeah. You see how lovely it looks. Yeah, so really we've got nice our fresh greens, tofu. It's actually got a really tofu. kind of nice autumnal look to it as well. It's got autumnal. I think the tofu it's helps really with that nice sort of brown colour. So it looks like comfort food. Yeah, it took five minutes delicious. to cook. Five minutes to cook. It's really healthy. Yeah, it's full of our mind. We need to tip it up. Are we doing that right? Yeah. Yeah. Full of our sort of mind. Yeah, I really, really like the look of this. And I love the idea that something's really that quick. Yeah. Yeah, great. Great. So we're going to put this recipe on the website. We are. And yeah. what we'll do is we'll do that in a, a version, a PDF version as well, so you yeah. can actually email me and we'll send that off to you. Great. Absolutely great. Well, so we get to eat for... God, I hope so. Perfect. I hope so. I must stood here all this time for nothing. <laughs> you're going to feed me. <laughs> right. Really interesting. So, as usual, if readers have any questions about food, anxiety, depression, menopause, they can email me and I can pass that on. Forward to, oh, to and, and again, if, and if you are worried about depression or anxiety, then I would go speak go to see to me. Yeah, definitely, because um, you never know what the underlying problem is, and I think they will get to the bottom of it. But this is so helpful. I hope that's been informative, but any questions, please just send them through to info at fighting50.co.uk and we'll get Rob to answer them. So, thanks for watching. If you make a recipe, let us know what you think. It's always good to know if you've tried it. So, thank you. Thanks. Bye. Thanks.